Good morning everyone. Today is Saturday morning. It's the 11th of February today. Hope you're having a good weekend so far. I'm going to talk about depravity today. Total depravity. The first letter in TULIP means total depravity. How can any of us deny that we're living in a depraved world when we firsthand recognize the events that are happening in our world? When someone uh, multiple people just because he's angry. When there are mass murders, when there are wars all over the world, when there are so many people hurt because of broken relationships, when other people attack other people, not only verbally but physically, violently, when um, people uh, fraud in our world, people steal other people's money, when people's own parents reject them, when there is just massive amounts of emotional and physical pain in the world, all the disease and strife and heartache and the things that people believe shows their own depravity, does it not? when they believe they evolved over time, millions of years, when they deny a creator. You know, when we think about the depravity in this world, it's overwhelming sometimes. When we look at our governments and see how much corruption is in our government, all the hearings in Congress because of all the corruption, What's the answer to all of this total depravity? That's the question. What is the answer? Well, there's only one answer, and that's redemption, isn't it? Redeemed. How I love to proclaim it. Redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. Redeemed through His infinite mercy. His child and forever I am. There can no, be no redemption, there can be no reconciliation, there can be no new birth apart from Jesus Christ. The only hope we have to get out of this depraved world is through the death, the burial, and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Paul said if there was no resurrection, we'd be yet in our sins. He was raised for our justification. This world is not my home. Hi, Troy. Good to see you. Hi, Peterish Kemmer. Good to see you as well this morning. This world is not my home. I'm just a passing through. My treasures are laid up somewhere beyond the blue. The angels will beckon me from heaven's open door. I don't feel at home in this depraved world anymore. How can anyone feel at home in this depraved world that we're living in? My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest frame but wholly lean on Jesus' name. On Christ the solid rock I stand. All other ground is sinking sand. His oath, His covenant, His blood supports me in the whelming flood. When all around my soul gives way, He then is all my hope and stay. When He shall come with trumpet sound, O oh, may I then in Christ be found, dressed in His righteousness alone, faultless to stand before His throne. So when we look around us and we see all the depravity, corruption, and 
ailments and disease and suffering and trials and testings. Let us look up for our redemption draws nigh. Let us look to Jesus the author and the finish of our faith for the joy that was set before him he endured the cross he despised the shame and he is set down at the right hand of the throne of God let us not be weary in well-doing you know there's a uh, There's no greater joy than to look on eternal things and look at toward our heavenly home. And behold the house of God's abode. The church of God's elect, a blessed fellowship of love. In Jesus' name we've met. The Lamb of God is in our midst. He promised he would be among his saints where'er they meet if only two or three the triune god who rules the world here makes his glory known through sacred word here proclaimed the way of life is shown. Tis here that God in grace descends to speak to fallen men and shows the wisdom of his grace to put away man's sin. We raise our songs of praise to God and wait to hear His word. Perhaps today, O oh, wondrous thought, we'll hear and see our Lord. Yes, we are told to go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. And, you know, there's a lot of people that lie about the gospel. They say that God made it possible that all men be saved. That is not true. God made it absolutely certain for all who died, for all for whom he died for would be saved. Jesus Christ himself said, My sheep hear my voice, and they follow me, and no man can pluck them out of my hand. And he told some of the Pharisees, you of your father the devil and the works of your father you will do. He said, I'm from above, you're from beneath. There's two sides of the story. Okay? The side is not just uh, when he says in John 3.16, for God so loved the world that whosoever believeth on him should be saved. Who are the whosoevers that believe on him? That's the question. Where does faith originate from? It originates from God himself. And I'm glad to know that Christ's love is absolutely certain for all for whom he died for. Jesus gave himself for his sheep. He came to save his people from their sins. If he came to save everyone from their sins, everyone would be saved. Mm -hmm. 
Pass me not, O gracious Father, sinful wretched though I be, though you might in truth condemn me, let your mercy fall on me. Love of God so everlasting, blood of Christ so rich and free, grace of God so strong and saving, magnify them all in me. Pass me not, O blessed Savior, let me hear your gracious call. I'm a guilty, helpless sinner, Savior, at your feet I fall. Pass me not, O mighty Spirit, you can cause the dead to live. Speak the word of saving power, give me faith and I will live. Pass me not a poor lost sinner, if you will, you can save me. Reach down with your hand of mercy, saving others, Lord, save me. Well, I hope the good Lord is with you today in a special way. And God's plan is not salvation for every man without exception. That is not his plan. His plan is very particular. And I refer you to the eighth chapter, the ninth chapter of Romans. He said, the children being not yet born, not having done any good or evil, that the purpose of God according to election might stand. Jacob have I loved, Esau have I hated. So yes, we have the eternal love of God he creates vessels of honor and he absolutely creates vessels fitted for destruction. So there's two sides of the story. May the good Lord be with you this morning is my prayer. God bless.